Right now, I multi-stream to Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, and every single time I start my stream, I need to open up three separate dashboards just to change my stream titles. Look how many goddamn docs I need to have open. I hate this. Wouldn't it be easier if I could just do all of that from one place? Like, imagine if there was maybe a doc inside of OBS, and all you need to do is type into this one box and all your stream titles update all at once. Here you go. Go download it, it's in the description. This is my newest tool that I built. I call it Multi-Stream Title Updater. It's really simple. All it does is list out all your different streams and lets you change titles all from one place. It supports Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, and yes, that even includes multi-streaming in horizontal and vertical modes on your YouTube streams. You can change categories, you can change your tags, and in the case of YouTube, you can also update your description and the visibility of your stream. So if you wanna flip flop between unlisted, private, and public, you can do that from this tool. Sorry, you don't have the ability to change thumbnails because I, I don't know how to do that, but as soon as I know how to do that, I will add that feature in. Another thing that's handy about this tool, I also added these shortcut buttons to open up your streams and go to each respective dashboard. So if there's a setting that you can't change within this dock, you can quickly open up the dashboard and then manually do it from there. I basically gave you all the information that you need to know about this widget, and we haven't even hit the sponsor segment yet. Stop being cringe and paying full price for Windows with our sponsor, VIP SD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 license for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you want to get them for a little bit cheaper, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15, and those can be updated to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code immediately, and then you can put that in your Windows settings, and you're good to go. Check out VIP SD Keys in the link down below. So this widget is up on Nutty GG. The download will include an instruction file and nothing else. It's just an instruction file. So can you please stop emailing my support team asking where the widget is? It's in the instructions. You just open it and it will tell you. Yes, this is a streamer bot thing. So you will need streamer bot for this to work. If you've never used streamer bot before, don't worry. It's really easy. You just need to have it open in the background and then make sure you enable WebSocket server. If you've used any of my other widgets before, you've already done this step. I feel, I feel like I'm just repeating myself in every video, but just read the instructions and it will tell you how to enable WebSocket server. The widget also has some StreamerBot actions that you need to import. So click on the import button in StreamerBot. Then in the written instructions, there's a big ass string of random text. Just click the copy button that's the import code. And then paste that into the import string box, click import, and then you're good. Then you can go ahead and open the widget itself. You can either open it in a normal Chrome tab in your browser or dock it in OBS. I prefer to dock it in OBS because I love docking. But for those of you that don't use OBS, maybe you use Meld or whatever you use, it, it's the same. You can just open it in Chrome if you want. Using the widget is pretty straightforward. There's a button up here to update all of your stream titles all at once. There'll be a box that pops up. You just fill in your stream title and category. There is no dropdown box for the category though. Sorry, I couldn't be adding that in. But the title of your game doesn't need to be exact. My widget will try to figure out what game you're talking about if you just type it in the box. So if you type in Zelda 3 or A Link to the Past, it should be able to figure out what game you're trying to put in there. Now, there are a few quirks to using this widget, which is why I'm making this video. So let me explain first before you guys have a million questions in the comments. In this list, you'll see a list of all your different accounts that you have connected to StreamerBot. Right now, that's just Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. StreamerBot technically also supports Trovo. Nobody uses Trovo, okay? I'm not gonna waste my time adding Trovo support if literally nobody here uses it. But as long as your accounts are connected to StreamerBot, you should see them listed here along with the current title and category 
of that platform. However, you will notice that both Kick and YouTube have a little yellow note under it. For Kick, it won't actually show you your current stream title unless you're already live. That's just the limitation of Kick. I can't really do anything about that, but the widget will still let you update your stream title and category. It just won't actually reflect that in the widget until you go live. Once you go live, that warning will go away and then you'll start seeing the right title and category. But before that, it's just gonna show you the title of your last kick stream. So don't worry if the title here doesn't match what's in your dashboard. YouTube has a similar thing. I can't get this widget to show your current stream title and category because until you start your stream, there is no title to update. So I can't show it to you in the widget. But once you go live, it will automatically start showing you the title and category, and there will be a button to update your description and all that other stuff. But that will only pop up after you've already started your stream. Now, if you want to set your YouTube title before you actually go live, I've added a shortcut to your YouTube dashboard, so you can just go there and manually update it yourself. Or if you use the update all button, there will be a switch that says include YouTube. And if you turn that on, then once the widget detects that you've gone live on YouTube, it will automatically update your YouTube title to whatever title you set. And that yellow note should update and tell you what the title will be when you actually go live. By the way, yes, this widget does support multiple YouTube streams. So if you're doing that thing where you stream in horizontal and vertical at the same time, both of your YouTube streams will pop up in this list here. On top of that, I added a feature where if you add the word shorts or vertical as a tag, it'll actually change the YouTube logo into a shorts logo. That way you can differentiate your vertical stream from your horizontal stream. So yeah, if you uh, just, I thought you might appreciate that little attention to detail there. Anyway, that's basically it. I didn't really need to make a whole video on this. It's a widget for updating stream titles. I don't know what you want me to say, bro. I'm out of ideas for content. Check out Gg for all my other stream widgets. If you haven't already, if you're new to this channel, there is a multi-chat overlay that I've made that's also up on Gg. Is there anyone that's actually new here anymore? I say that all the time. I don't think there's anyone watching that's new. Come watch my stream if you want to see me use any of my widgets and you want to see them in action. Uh, I multi-stream everywhere, so you should be able to find me. And uh, yeah, go share this with your cool streamer friends. Uh, I'm out. See ya.